guys and welcome back to another video here on the valley the old farm today on the farm we are going to be doing a bit of spraying since we have got a new sprayer but first i would like you to i would like to show you what we have recently bought since our money went up a bit after selling some of our apples so we have went and bought some cows so we got some Angus and Holsteins, the Angus of course, the first salad, and the Holsteins for producing the milk. So yeah, I should probably should shut this door here. But yeah, that's what we have got recently. We've also, we also sold, where is it? Yep, we also sold the pig farm because I put it on the poll and you guys, most of you guys said we should. So that is what we have done, but yeah. We're going to go and do a bit of spraying, get rid of the weeds. So yeah, we've got a new sprayer you may have seen in the thumbnail. Here it is, the Massey Ferguson, a nice one. So let's get that started up, get that out of the shed. And we'll get it filled up. As you can see, we've got our stock of fertilizer and herbicide, as well as two other seed bags. And then you may also notice we've got a cultivator roller and a fertilizer spreader. Well, we bought them because something we're going to be needing. So I just went ahead and bought them. I think we may as well fill this up right to the top. So we'll get another one of these. We'll get this, <clears throat> pardon me, we'll get this put in the sprayer and then we'll head off to the field closest to the farm. Oh, another thing is we have bought a new field. We've bought field 68, the one I've been talking about getting. So we've planted that with some wheat. So yeah, we had to take a bit of a loan out to get it. So this is going to be a good field though because it'll be worth quite a bit of money when we come to sell the crop so yeah we'll go and do the field closest to the farm and yeah and then we'll see how it is it's been a few days since i've uploaded the video but i've just been trying to work out what to do for the next video so this is what i planned of doing but so far we've planted pretty much every single field of wheat I wasn't going to do that, but then I thought at least wheat's a safe option and we've got plenty of it and it's worth a decent amount of money. Of course, we've got soybeans to sell, but that's in July time. So, yeah. And we've also converted our grass field into wheat for now. I think we may do come back to doing grass again because we'll need it for the cows and their sheep. So, we, we'll need to come back to doing some grass. But for now, <clears throat> I thought at least giving the ground a bit of a break from the grass will be good. So it's currently got some wheat in it. And then after we've harvested the wheat, we might convert it back to grass. Or we might decide that we want to be a full arable farm and we just buy our food in for our sheep and not uh, our sheep and cows. But that's going to get quite expensive. So we may want to do some silage or hay. <clears throat> but yeah it's not going to take us long to do this and then we're, we are going to have to put some liquid fertilizer onto one of the fields that was one of the fields that were soybeans they're going to need some liquid fertilizer to get that up to its full liquid fertilizer state fertilizer state not liquid fertilizer but yeah. So yeah, there's been a few big changes to the farm, but it's definitely worth it. And that did not take us long to do. 
we may move on to our new fields. Oh, why did I start folding that up? The new field's literally right here. Yeah, we'll go and put some of this on it. Um, yeah, it's got full 100% fertilizer, so yeah. It's going to take me a wee while to do this field, because <clears throat> it's a massive field compared to the ones we have. But luckily we've got a new harvester, so it won't take us long with the new harvester. But yeah, so life on the farm has been going very good for us. But yeah, you can see just about work out. You can see where the green ends over there. So it's quite a big field. It's going to take me a wee bit to do this. But I think doing this will be worth it. <coughs> Pardon me. And it does mean, though, we're going to have to make sure we have some big equipment, like a bigger cedar is something we're going to have to invest in, as well as a bigger tractor. But the cedar we've got requires 180 horsepower, so if we can save up enough money, our tractor should just about to be able to power it. But then, of course, we've got the Massey Ferguson currently, so as long as we have a tractor on lease, we can really get any one we want. But... Our lease time is coming up on the Massey Ferguson, so I think we're going to have to get a different one. But I think the Massey Ferguson runs out in March, so we've got a few months with it. So we need to really get all the big jobs done with it, and then we probably will go ahead, and I'm thinking of getting a fence. Because I do like fence i'm more into the new hollands but i think they're getting a fence for the farm so yeah oh and i would just like to say um thanks for getting me to 130 subscribers i do appreciate it and if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I would appreciate it. And also, if you would like to like this video, I would appreciate that as well. Because it just lets me know that I'm doing good at my videos. So it shouldn't take me too long to do the spraying. See, I quite, I quite find it satisfying to do it. The sprain because you can see how the crop how nice it looks without the weeds so i don't think i'm going to do a transition because it's not going to take me long to do this and then <clears throat> we'll need to do some other stuff i think i'm going to have to get a bucket for our front loader trap there because um <clears throat> we can muck our cows out so we'll need to get a bucket for our tractor, but we can do that later, once I've completed this. So yeah. And this was, we actually got a pretty good deal for this uh, sprayer, by the way. We only paid like 40 grand, which came out of the money that we got from our pig farm, because we got 90,000 uh, 90, euros from that so we technically got uh, 50,000 euros after buying this thing and then of course um, what else I was trying to think but there's some other thing that brings some money in Oh, and I've just, I've never asked really in videos, but how's everyone's day been? Comment down below how your day's been, I would appreciate. I do like hearing how people's days and what they've been up to, so if you'd like to comment that down below, you can do that. So 
So let's get out. So 80%, and now it's up to 85%. So definitely worth doing this. And another thing we may add in the future is precision farming. I will put a poll out for that. And you can vote on the poll what you think if we should do precision farming or not. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah. <coughs> Pardon me again. Sorry, I do apologize if you find that annoying. Let's see what's like in cab. I do quite like this um, sprayer though because it it's kind of like a half of a Massey Ferguson 185 but then it's also got the spraying bit of the back so yeah this was definitely a good investment for us another thing is I've seen I did a poll the other day on how many episodes you think we should do and most people said that we should do 30 plus episodes on this map so I will try my best to do that I said 25 to 30 episodes and 44% people voted on that and 30, 30 plus episodes 56% people said that so of course we have a clear winner there of 30 plus so that is how it's going to be but I'm thinking there's not going to be much we can really do in the rest of the winter month. So we're going to skip to March, I believe. Because at least by March we can start doing some jobs. Because it'll be springtime. And as you can see, I've parked the combine up there. I just put it there because it's out of the way. And I didn't put it on its header trailer because at the time I couldn't be bothered doing that and trying to reverse a header trailer into a shed. So it's just been left there. I probably shouldn't have left out in the open because it's probably not good to do that. Another thing I might actually start doing at some point is live streams. So we may start a series on a certain map and then we'll just do live streams. So if you think we should also do that, comment down below what you think. Oh, another thing is if you'd like to join the Discord, it is in my YouTube bio, so do that. And if you have any recommendations for videos and how I can improve, then you can go into the Discord and tell me. would appreciate that. And then when we're done this, as I said, we'll go and buy a bucket and we'll go and clear <clears throat> the manure out of the cow shed. And we'll we make it a little trailer in the future to load the manure into it and then we can dump it somewhere around the farm or I think there's a little bit next to the cow shed where you can put manure on. So we may do that.
But I'll quickly just show you. This is how many machines we've got leased now. So way better than before. Of course, this one we are paying for it because it's at the store. But it's technically we're not really paying for it either. Because it's the store's vehicle. But you never know, if <clears throat> if we get enough uh, money from our soybeans, we may go and buy a new tractor, because our tractors, what I'm thinking is we could sell both of our tractors and get one big tractor with a front loader on it. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because... <clears throat> to be fair, at the minute, we're not really using um, both tractors at once, so by selling both of them and getting one big one and having a front loader on it may be a better decision for the farm. Let those cars go by and we can continue. Right, we'll just go down the road. Probably should have folded up in the field, but yeah. So, that is two fields of herbicides put on. So we'll go and get a bucket from the store and we'll go and muck the cows out. So we're going to park this up in the shed. I think we'll just put it where we got it from. We'll get a bucket for that tractor and then we're going to do the mucking out. Because it's the job that needs to be done daily probably to make sure the cows are not rolling around in the muck. Right, so, ooh, got a few things there. We may actually get this for the future because we are producing some manure, not very much, but we producing some, so yeah, we may do that at some point, but let's get a bucket. I'm not going to go for that tiny one. Um, I think we would manage something like this. I think our tractor would manage that fine. Ah, let's go for it. It costs us 3,000 euros, but it'll be worth it. Right. Boom, there we go. So let's put this um, pallet fork in the shed. <coughs> Pardon me. I keep doing that, but just trying to clear my throat a bit um but yeah i'm gonna get the bucket on and i'm gonna clear these cows out i would also just like to say within the update of this map i didn't end up having to create a new game save which was good and now the uh, the bunker styles can be used so we can at some point when we get our um field of grass back we can do some silage you may see there there's the little tester bit I did, and yeah, the silo covers are working. But yeah, I'm thinking the manure can be put here. This looks like a manure bit. So we'll open this up. And we'll go and muck them out. Right, let's have a look. Here's the manure here. <coughs> Pardon me. How much have we got? Ah, yeah. Get it all in a bucket load.
Ah, there's more than it said, but not complaining. The more the better for the future. Because we will need to get a manure spreader at some point. Right, those little bits probably don't matter too much. Oops. Mm, yeah, we're not making that. Right. I did clip the shed, but probably doesn't matter too much. But yeah, I'm thinking this should be fine here. There we go. I think we'll just park this up here for now. To be fair though, we might not want to sell this tractor because this could come our feeder tractor and our mucking out tractor and all that stuff. So yeah. So we've done that. And there's probably another job we could do. There's not much going on in the farm really. We could do a bit of mulching maybe. If we go and find the tractor to use. If we want to do a bit of mulching up um, the field near our pig farm. That's actually another thing I'm trying to decide. Do we go ahead and sell this field? Because we don't own this pig farm, so it would be silly to have it. You know what, I'm just going to do it. So we won't do mulching because we don't even have the field. So our bank account is looking much better. I think I'm just going to leave the episode there. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And also comment down below um, what you think I should do on the series next. And also if there's anything um, you would like to tell me, just comment down below. I would appreciate that. If you would like to did I say, like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that. And also... Share these videos with other people, I would appreciate that as well, it just helps get the word around about my channel. And if you'd also like to join the Discord in my bio, I would appreciate that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.